You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Today I have a familiar favorite, Arnie Danielson. Welcome, Arnie. Nice Thank to you, see you Mark. back. Nice to have you. Nice to be here. We are talking about fourth annual Shoe City Screens. Fourth annual Shoe City Screens Film Festival. Who knew? Mm -hmm. We wanted one. We created one. And this year we're four years in. On Thursday night and Friday night, the 30th and 31st of July, mm -hmm. and Saturday night, the 1st of August. And excuse me, we are also broadcast, we'll also be screening Thursday and Friday afternoon, and why don't I start there? Okay. All right, Thursday afternoon and Friday afternoon, in partnership with the Brockton Historical Society, we'll be screening two films by Smithsonian filmmaker Ted Timerick from his Hidden Landscape series. One of them is The New Antiquarians, and it's about those folk who are essentially looking at the landscape here and seeing it with eyes that suggest we might have missed something in our rush from pilgrims to modern-day America. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The second of those, of those films is called The Great Falls, and that is specifically about the interaction between the Native American populations and the community of Turner's Falls out mm. in the western part of the state. Mm -hmm. This was a troubled place and has been a troubled place for a long, long time. It was also a place where during King Philip's War, there was a massacre. Okay. And that massacre left the land unsettled. And recently, the town of Turner's Falls went to the Native American populations and said, all right, all right, can we make peace? And they did. And they came to an understanding about the relationship between the tribes and the history. And they signed a document that ensured that the Native Americans would have a certain influence over projects moving forward. And what happened shortly thereafter is they discovered very, very old lithic structures that indicated a legitimate intelligence was here well before the Europeans arrived, and it has altered plans and made everybody think about things in different ways. Mm. It has parts of this that tie to things here in town. We'll be talking about some of those. There will be panel discussions and that sort of thing to kind of, let's say it's the history that you weren't taught when you went to school. It's certainly not the history I was taught when I went to school. Right. But Thursday and Friday afternoon, in partnership with and at the Brockton Historical Society, we will be screening those films and holding those discussions. Friday night, at the Buckley Performing Arts Center at Massasoit in the Little Theater, we are screening Cosplay, mm -hmm. a documentary on Conocom by local filmmaker Joshua Adams and his partner, Yuke Lee. These guys were stimulated and motivated by anime, Japanese animation. Mm -hmm. And as they got into this, they began to see a world, almost a parallel universe. And they have created an absolutely spectacularly heartwarming tale about the complexity of costume play. When we started to do a little bit of talk about marketing, we were at some of the local comic stores and a couple of the kids said, that's great. Mm -hmm. Can we come in costume? Mm -hmm. So we've said yes to this. And this is, it's everything you can possibly think of. It's Star Wars, it's Wookiees, wow. it's anime, it's all manner of things. And we're going to have a lot of fun with that. Joshua will be part of a discussion about how this came to be and how he did it. It's a tremendously well-researched piece. And come Saturday night at Joe Angelo's, we will be screening shorts, comedies, grindhouse, animation, music videos, and celebrating all of the just, just tremendously creative energy that is just bubbling around in this city right now. And I know you think it's true, too. Absolutely. There's all kinds of stuff going on. Absolutely. We're really, we're really looking forward to this. We've got... And you know how I feel about this. This is all about partners and sharing. How do we show off? How do we tell our citizens that we are proud of the city, proud of them, proud of their artwork, proud of their vision? We built a festival around the idea that we're special and that we matter. And everyone has responded wonderfully. You've been to these things. You've Absolutely. enjoyed them too. And you do something different every year. 
That's what I like about it. Now, what's the cost? How much? Ten bucks a pop to walk in the door. How can you beat that? Ten bucks a pop to walk in the door, and we're gonna, we'll, we'll have a nice time with it. Um, we're all hip these days. We carry squares. It's all credit cards and checks and that mm -hmm. sort of thing. Mm -hmm. We will be working with brown paper ticketing. Okay. That online ticketing system should be in place by the 4th of July. Mm -hmm. That's being negotiated now, but we are trying to figure out a way to utilize resource. Mm -hmm. to utilize stage, to share some audiences, to bring people to this wonderful city on purpose, show them a great time, show them a new venue, introduce them to new friends, send them home smiling, looking forward to coming next year. We have taken submissions from around the region. Mm -hmm. So we have, we, we have clearly created an environment where people are willing to take that flyer and come on out and play with us to show off their work, to bring their friends and family and audience. I couldn't be happier. I could now, not now be you happier. You have marketing gurus and you have a website. So you find out about all of this <clears> on the <throat> website, correct? We are brocktonarts.org. Mm -hmm. And my personal preference is that you Google Brockton Arts. This helps us you know, with our search engines and that sort of thing. Right. And inside of the web, it's very easy to find the Shoe City screens. Mm -hmm. You can buy tickets there. You can submit your work there. We are still taking submissions. As always, everything comes in a little bit slower than you like. We are being accommodating. My wife, Stephanie, uh, Aaron Tebow, and Virginia DePina are the three principals inside of our board structure who are playing project manager for this this year. Mm -hmm. So it gives me an opportunity to sit a little bit over on the side, let the organization expand and grow up. And as we reach out, as we all grow up and as we all change our networks, we are taking everybody with us mm -hmm. and building a larger and larger and more vibrant network here. We have a legitimately definable, recognizable, usable, creative economy here right now. And I think it is wonderful. You've just done a wonderful job of selling it. You're talking to me. Talk to them for one minute. One minute. You get one minute. I get Look one minute. Look in that camera and tell them why they need to be there. You need to be there because we are all special. We are there because we think you are special. We want you to come and enjoy the films. We want you to come and enjoy the camaraderie. We want you to come and see your neighbors and your friends in an entirely different light. We want you to look at some of the venues. We want you to think about the magic and the talent that is here. And we want to send you home saying, what a wonderful night. We cannot wait until next time. Thank you. Perfect. Thanks, Arnie. Good to see you. And Mark, we will be there and we will help Mark, you promote Mark, it's this. always good. We'll have a little bit of fun. We'll play together forever until we're cranky old men and we get to sit around and say, you know what? We did this. Exactly, exactly, <laughs> that's great. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you very much. You are watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.